What's up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Please in the description below check out my Discord and Patreon page. The reason I'm bringing that up first is because the video that I'm making right now is a video based on a question that somebody asked me in Discord. Shout out to Izzy. She runs the same team that I run in Arena, and she struggles to beat the Bastila teams. So I'm going to do a video on how to beat that Bastila team. It's a Palpatine lead. I don't have Treya, and I do have Ness, so I'm going to show you guys how I do that. First things first, we're going to go in, and I have finally gotten my last piece available needed to slice the last mod on Thrawn. And we're going to go over some of the mods that I've sliced here. So, I'm going to take it to the next level. And I got another increase on speed on this. Look at all the increases I have here. This is just amazing. Now, let me... I'm going to quick go through this. This He is the only character I have any of the six dot mods on. Okay? The offense increased from like 5.88% to 8.5% when you go from a 5 to 6 dot mod. I have a 20 speed in the secondary there. You can see the huge increases. Huge. Okay. We're going to go down to the diamond. Defense goes from like 11.75 to 20% in the primary. That's huge. I got to a 16 speed there. In the circle, um, health went up big time, as you can see. That's like a big time health increase. Uh, what is it? 5.88% in the normal health? Let me let me find that out here quick. We'll go, yeah, 5.88% and it went to 16%. It effectively doubled. That's huge. Okay. Defense. Now, the reason, uh, first of all, defense has gotten better. But second of all, it's because these are my fastest uh, mods I have. So that's why the primary I don't care about. I want them as fast as I can. Look at the speed went to 22 and this was at like a 18 when I, when I first put it there or even a 15. That's huge. Uh, then another defensive mod went up to 20% with a 19 speed. And then the arrow mods, this is the one I would suggest taking to six dots first because it gives you that plus two speed in the primary and you get 32 speed. And I now have him at a speed of 306. Finally have a character over 300 and he is right now the fastest person in the entire arena. And I am extremely proud of that because I don't have tryouts, so I got to be good at something. So we are going to go into battle, and I'm going to show you how I effectively take out these teams. And perfect, there's a, there's a few right here. So let's see, the normal team first, let's see if I can find, yes, this team right here, which is a team you're going to see a lot, General Kenobi, Hermit Yoda, Ezra, Bastila. We're going to go into battle, and I'm going to run the team that Izzy runs, and this is the team I run as well. We got a Palpatine lead, Thrawn, Scion, Nihilus, and Ness. Ness is very important because when she counters, she can take away taunt from Kenobi uh, during the counter and with her basic attack. So, I always start out like this. Flipping turn meter with Scion. And using this, getting rid of the taunt... Okay. And now what's going to happen is I'm going to come in. I'm going to dispel. I can't dispel because I have force out right now. I'm going to come in and I'm going to uh, hit Master Yoda. This with a basic with Nest. And now I'm going to fracture him. You want to take out Grandmaster Yoda first. Get rid of that foresight. Okay. Yep. See, when Nest countered there... That's what happened. I get to use Held by Hatred again and wipe away all these buffs. Some people could have argued that I should have used Nest first uh, and just had her wipe away the defensive buff or the taunt buff. But th this is the way that I always do it. I get two, two cooldown increases there. Now I get to use the basic to get rid of that taunt. And come in and remember, I'm not going to use Power of the Dark Side because they're going to resist it all right now. I'm going to come in and just try to hit uh, Grandmaster Yoda. That's who I'm focusing on getting out first. Yep. He lost some stuff. Oh, well. Ness can attack whoever she wants. I'm going to use this one. And now we're going to come in and Kenobi loses Taunt again. 
Got to keep Nihilus in the fray. Have to keep Nihilus in the fray. So I'm actually going to give turn meter to Nihilus now with Thrawn. Use uh, Nihilus' basic. Again, the person I'm aiming for is Grandmaster Yoda. I'm going to save his big hit right now. because, And now I get to Fracture again, which is nice. Let's come in and do that. Perfect. Now, I'm going to... They all have Foresight, but I'm going to be able to get Basilis. Ezra is tough. Oh, I lost Nihilus. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'm not going to have Annihilate now. I shouldn't have used that. I shouldn't have used his increasing his cooldowns. Um, Let's see here. Let's hit Bastila. Pretty soon, I'm going to be... Actually, now that Ezra has ability block... And he has the pain. We're going to come in and use that. I'm going to swap turn meter with Nihilus, or with Scion so I can get his held by hatred. Now I can come in, do big hit here. He took out Ezra in one shot. That's amazing. That's why Scion... I'm going to actually show you after this how I have my Scion modded. I do it differently than most people. I'm going to be forced to attack Kenobi. And I'm going to get to fracture him, which is nice. Use this. Now, I, I will point out I most likely made a mistake earlier in the battle. <clears throat> I shouldn't have used Nihilus' increased cooldowns when they all had foresight. So for those of you watching the video going, Wow, you're a bad player. Look what you did. I know I made that mistake. I need to be paying closer attention to what I'm doing. I'm trying to commentate, teach, and do this all at the same time. Okay. Uh, and notice how I haven't used kinetic charge because they're just going to resist. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, look, at there's a bunch of resist. Um, keep gaining foresight, which is which is a problem. I'm actually going to call or give turn meter to Scion again because I want to get rid of all those buffs on Bastila. There are times that I do this where I take out Hermit Yoda. I'm just going to show, because I'm going to be able to win this either way. Oh, there's 50 seconds left. I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. Sorry about that. Otherwise, I was going to show you guys how I can take out Hermit Yoda at times. Two, and make sure he doesn't increase all the protection. 33 seconds. I have to take Bastila out of here. And match over. I get the win. Now, sometimes I was going to say you can take Hermit Yoda out if he's still there. And a lot of times you're going to face Hermit Yodas that aren't gear 12. Which causes them to be easier to take out if you want them to quit gaining protection. Gives master training. It's just something you can give a shot with if you're struggling. I did make a few mistakes that battle. Okay, now we're going to go in and face this other Bastila team with Old Ben. Now, here's something you got to pay attention to. Does Old Ben have the Zeta? And if he does, you got to determine what is Zeta. Devoted Protector is Zeta, which says Old Ben gains taunt for two turns. When this taunt expires, Old Ben gains taunt for one turn. Okay, that's tough because even when you take his taunt away, he's going to gain it again. And that is tricky. That's a much harder to play with than you're facing a double Kenobi team here. So we're going to go in, which means I'm even though he's going to get taunt again, I want to prevent Old Ben from putting massive amounts of debuffs across my entire team. So I'm going to come in and fracture him. I think actually that might be a mistake in the game right there because he's supposed to taunt again even when he's fractured, I believe. I think that may be, that may be a game issue right now. If it's not, let me know. Now, the, the trick is to still try to get Grandmaster Yoda out of here as quick as possible. Let's get rid of all these. The, problem, the tricky situation that we're in is... Okay, let's, let's give this to Scion again. Let's use a Dispel. He's going to take, take a hit here. 
I don't know. Good deal. Okay. Um. No, oh, stop attacking me. Please. I need to get to Palpatine so I can heal with him. Just keep attacking Ness. That's, that's an excellent idea. Why did that do? Oh, sometimes I look at myself and I go, what am I doing? Because this is what I wanted to do. Get my health steal up. Okay, that's what I wanted to prevent from the beginning. But this is nice. Because now I'm going to take out General Kenobi in the back. And now I'm going to work on their Bastila. I can use this here. There's not a lot of... Uh, still resisting, but... Because the reason I took out General Kenobi first... Is because if you take out Old Ben, he's going to have that mini Illuminated Destiny. And give everybody a bunch of buffs. Which I don't like. Obviously. Now I get to use Held by Hatred. And this match pretty much becomes over when you're able to use Held by Hatred. There he kept his taunt. I just want to get rid of her as quickly as possible. Boom! Goodbye. Now, I always thought that even when fractured, he kept his taunt. So we'll have to check on that. Otherwise, okay, we won that battle again. I find it harder to win against Hermit Yodas and Ezra's, but I wanted to show you that's how I do it. Again, shout out to Izzy here. Now, I will go in again, and we're going to... I'm going to show you how I've modded my Scion. This is different because he is considered a tank, and I before have said to mod him like a tank. But I've changed things up a little bit. I have put a huge crit damage set on him. Why? You get held by hatred uh, with him with that plus 100% offense. He can do some massive hits, as showed in one of the previous battles. His speed's at 253, which is pretty decent the way it is. Wait till I get these to six stop mods. This is, what I, this is a person I'm probably going to do next. Specifically, not because it is boosting Scion, it's boosting these mods. So I can easily flip this mod set, as you can see, I call this the crit crushing crit damage set. If I need to put this on Commander Luke Skywalker, or Raid Han, or anybody else, I can easily do that. Which is nice about the assigning the new mod loadouts, is it's easy to go in there and put it on a different character and put it back. And as you can see, my speed kills uh, loadout is in Grand Admiral Thrawn, which is so easy to switch back. Um, so you can see 17 speed, 13 speed, 17 speed. Now, for a person that I want to do massive amounts of damage, I usually put an offensive mod in the cross. But because he is still a tank, and when he gets held by hatred, he gets a huge bonus 100% uh, offense. I did put a protection in here. Because I still want him to be able to take a little damage. I put a crit damage in the triangle with a 15 speed and a 30 speed in the arrow. So this is unorthodox. I know a lot of people don't mod their Scion like this. They either do it with massive amounts of speed or massive amounts of health and protection. But he's pretty good the way it is. And I like to see him go in there. And when he uses that attack, just knock somebody out. And it's fun. And I'm able to succeed with it, you know. If, if you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. That's what's great about this game is not everything has to be uh, per because it says here his recommended uh, mod sets are speed and defense. Do I have the recommended mod set on here? Absolutely not. I don't, but I have a lot of fun with them. Uh, and that's the way I have them going right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy people, you know, join the discord server because when you leave comments or ask me questions. I enjoy being able to do videos on, even if it's for one person, because it gives me video ideas. Um, sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's hard to find great content. So even if I can make a video for one person, it's going to be great. So if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, please like the video, click the notification bell. So every time I post a video, you will be alerted to what is going on. Check out soon for much, much more content to come. Peace out and may the force be with you.